One of the main reasons that we're doing cloud seeding is we've really determined that it's a safe and effective way to increase the amount of water that's available. It's not a silver bullet. You can't cloud seed if there aren't winter storms that are coming through. So if it's really, really dry, you're not going to get more water from the non-existent storms, essentially. Cloud seeding is a process that injects silver iodide particles into clouds that are not producing ice very well on their own. We can insert the silver iodide through aircraft flying in the clouds or from ground-based generators that release a smoke plume that flows up into the clouds over the mountains. And once the silver iodide gets into the cloud, it forms ice, and then that ice can readily grow into snow that falls to the ground. Colorado has a long history of cloud seeding. and has been operating programs for the last 50 years. All of those programs have been on the west part of the state, and this program is the first on the east part of the state. It's reflective of a need to find water kind of wherever you can. A lot of the low-hanging fruit of the big dams of the past and other easy sources of water have all been fully developed. There's a need for conservation and there's also a need for other al approaches, other alternatives to water supply. From our research, we know that cloud seeding works. It produces ice that grows into snow. We also know that it does not work in every cloud equally. But with the new computer modeling that we're doing, we can now simulate a seeded cloud and an unseeded cloud and look at the differences. In the next few years, we're really hoping to have a lot better um, understanding of what those impacts are, especially over an entire uh, winter season. There has been some federal money that has come out recently, and I think more would be great. Any way to make more water is going to benefit everybody in the basin.